Metal Gear Solid 2 is known for being a tough guys game where you can do some pretty questionable things, but being mean to birds has some very serious consequences. For one of the missions, you'll find yourself constantly slipping on bird poop, which can get pretty annoying, but if you decide to eliminate your new rivals, your in-game girlfriend will dump you. I had no idea you were that kind of a monster. In a Resident Evil 4, there's a friendly character named Lewis that gives you health, ammo, and an extra set of hands to help with your zombie problem, except you could also turn him into your enemy. If you find Lewis annoying, feel free to start putting a couple bullets in him, but unlike pretty much every other NPC, he's not gonna let you get away with it. Try enough times and he'll get so fed up, you'll be the one who gets shot instead. And betraying your teammates in Halo causes similar fate, but somehow it's even worse. If you try to shoot your fellow Marines, nothing really happens, but if you attempt to kill Captain Keys, the game will quickly teach you a lesson. The second he dies, all of the doors will lock and an endless army of guards will come to fight you as revenge. They have infinite health, making it impossible to beat, so let's just say being a jerk in this game doesn't exactly pay off. In GTA 5, you could swap between Franklin, Michael, and Trevor, but some players wondered what would happen if they met up and trolled each other, which they quickly regretted. If you find one of them in the open world, you can start stalking and trying to mess with them. It doesn't take long before they get really annoyed and warn you to go away, but continue to harass them further, and they'll knock you out with a punch. And in The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, you can find this seemingly adorable pig, but most players don't know about his dark secret. You can come across this little guy in your travels, and bring him back to your home base, giving him the name Link the Pig. He grows to a huge size pretty quickly, but if you ever try to turn him into bacon, he will absolutely destroy you. He deals the most damage in a single hit out of all the creatures in the game, which is a fitting punishment for even thinking about hurting the poor little piggy. Now, Dark Souls is already known for being insanely difficult, but being a jerk throughout the game will only make it that much harder. Turns out, if you go on a rampage and kill various NPCs, they won't respawn. You'll never be able to use their services, miss out on all of their quest lines, and even get guilt trip for it. And while those NPCs didn't exactly defend themselves, don't even think about doing the same in Tomb Raider 2. On one level, you'll find yourself in a temple full of monks, which is refreshing because of the constant action. But if you decide to attack any of them, you'll suddenly find yourself being chased by all of them. Dishonored doesn't allow this kind of thing either, because even though the game is about being an assassin, you could actually be punished for killing too many enemies. There are multiple ways to complete a mission, from sneaking around or taking out everyone who gets in your way. Well, turns out, the game is secretly tracking all of your stats, and if it sees you've killed over half the people in the game, you'll get betrayed by your closest friend. At the end of the game, Samuel's waiting for you on a boat to escape, but now he'll turn against you, firing a flare to alert guards. Doing this not only means you've got to fight dozens more to survive, but the game also spawns extra guards just as a punishment. In Spelunky Shrine Master, you can come across shrines that give you loot for sacrificing creatures to Carly, but sometimes it goes horribly wrong. If you decide to be a jerk and destroy a shrine, she'll spawn a ton of spiders to attack you as a punishment, and that's not even the worst of it. Destroying even more shrines will lock you to a ball and chain, which makes it almost impossible to complete the level. Destroying four of them spawns the ghost, which will constantly follow you around and kill you instantly with a single touch. And that's not the only god you shouldn't mess with, because the bunnies in Shadow Warrior also have a terrifying punishment. Throughout the game, you can find bunnies roaming around, and sometimes they'll even be breeding. Of course, being the jerk you are means you'll interrupt them, in which case you won't be met with a cute little rabbit but instead, it'll spawn Why this demon. The Buddy Lord is a black rabbit with creepy red eyes and has some of the most powerful attacks in the game. It turns into its own mini boss battle, and if you thought that was bad, if you repeat it when playing the game a second time, you'll be met by an even bigger and more horrifying rabbit. Somehow that's not as terrifying as the supernatural villain called the Sorrow. You'll meet up towards the end of Metal Gear Solid 3 as a boss fight, but during one part, he'll use ghosts to haunt you as you make your way through a river. The bombshell is, all of these ghosts are actually the enemies you've killed throughout the game. So the more people you took out, the more ghosts you'll face. It is a slow and painful punishment as you're forced to drudge through the river, feeling sorry for every soul you pass. In Dynasty Warriors, there's a leader you'll find named Liu Bei, and he's an extremely friendly and caring commander to his army. But if you accidentally or even intentionally kill any of his followers, he'll politely ask you to not hurt them. Ignore his warning, the next time you kill him, he'll get revenge by killing you and your entire army as payment. And that's not nearly as bad as what you could do in Fallout 1 and 2. There were various kids around the game that you could find and interact with, but the devs didn't exactly make them invincible, leading to some pretty terrible situations. If you did the unthinkable, the game would give you a shameful title and call you an evil, evil person. Even bounty hunters would come after you for it. This was frowned upon so much that it was actually 
actually change in future games, but uh, I mean, come on, who would be this much of a jerk? And Star Fox Adventures was another classic game, but it wasn't set in space like the other titles. Instead, it was an adventure platformer, and during one part, you meet Tricky the Dinosaur. Character seems innocent on the surface, but can start to become incredibly annoying as you look after him. So not surprising that some players decided to take out their anger on the dino, and soon realized that after too many hits, you would be punished for it. Tricky would only take so much before incinerating you for betraying him. So if the dino wasn't enough to drive you mad, The Sinking City is a game with its own insanity meter. It keeps track of your character's encounters and some of your actions. For example, killing innocent NPCs will increase your madness. When this happens, it causes your screen to go completely blurry and shake. But eventually, monsters will start spawning and come after you for attacking the helpless. And in Skyrim, you can make some characters feel even worse. Most players know you can get into a relationship with NPCs in the game, but if it doesn't work out, the outcome isn't great. If you break up with a simple trader, then you'll likely miss out on a few sales. But if it's an important character, then it's a huge problem. Any followers you have can help carry items or be required on certain missions to help you. But if you've upset them with a breakup, they actually won't talk to you anymore. This means it'll be almost impossible to complete quests or even get your most valuable items back. But it turns out Mass Effect 2 will let you upset an entire animal society. You can find space cows on a certain planet who do nothing but peacefully live in the background. Well, if you turn your weapons away from the battle and decide to kill them, the game will roast you for it. Even the entire Galactic Humane Society will send you a message that makes you feel sad for even trying to do it in the first place. And I mean, come on, what do you got against space cows? A Pokemon Mystery Dungeon has its own rules too. The Kecleon Shop has a variety of items to offer, with some of the display outside actually being stealable, but they won't let you get away with it. If you decide to try and take items, you'll find yourself getting into a fight with the store owners, which might not go too well for you since they're an incredibly high level. And I don't know what some gamers have against animals, but in GTA 5, Franklin's Dog Chop has a happiness meter that you can increase over time by taking him on walks, playing with him, and other stuff. But if you decide to kill Chop, you'll eventually respawn in his kennel with his happiness at zero. Try to go meet him again, and he'll bark at you because he's mad, and it serves you right. It doesn't end with GTA because Rockstar keeps a charm going in other games like Bully. It obviously has dozens of ways to get roasted for being a jerk, but in tag Organizing the teachers has the craziest punishment. If you get caught by the prefects, you'll get detention and have to do chores like mowing the lawn. But it doesn't end here. Keep trolling the teachers and the lawn will get bigger every single time until eventually it stops being fun to play entirely. You Don't Know Jack is a party game that you can play with friends. But if you try and enter swear words as your username, the game will pick it up and the narrator will roast you. Player one, you think you're real funny, don't you? F me, F you, I'm taking away a thousand bucks. Try to change your name back again, and the game will remember and take away thousands more dollars and even one extra to be sure. You might want to try it a third time just to see how much money the host will take away, but instead, you'll get something completely different. You're getting a goat. Yeah, that's it. Game over. Here's a goat. Enjoy. <laughs> well, click on this video if you want to see 18 video games that roast you for sucking. Hope you all enjoyed. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on T5G.